Good evening and welcome to the Nevis Newscast. So today is a Thursday, August 11th, 2016. I'm Donis Wilkinson Keynes. With the completion of the recent Nevis Mango and Food Festival, Chief Executive Officer at the Nevis Tourism Authority, Greg Phillip, has expressed his satisfaction with what he has termed a successful hosting of the festival. The Mango Food Festival for 2016 went very well. The locals came out um, participated in both the food fair, the Nivision Chef's Mango Feast, and also the dinner. So those were quite successful. We're also very, very thankful to all the sponsors, um, Ram Supermarkets, Bring the Gold Room, the Bank of Nevis, and the Agriculture Department for all the assistance that they gave. And we have to say a special thank you to all the local chefs who participated. I think that it was a good experience for them and it was definitely a good experience for the Nevis Tourism Authority to have them involved. So we have already started planning for next year. Philip also spoke about the performance of the local chefs at the second annual Nivision Chef Mango Feast, which took place at Owali Beach. The local chefs and what they produce for the Nevis Mango Food Festival, we're quite pleased because as we know, in Nevis, we eat mangoes. <laughs> it's not something that we typically use as an ingredient for cooking. So, you know, for the, the local chefs, it, it's something presented as a challenge for them to look at our local fruit in a different way. I mean, we feel that ne Nevis's sweetest resource is really the mango. So for our local chefs to embrace it in a different way and have an opportunity to show how creative they can be. Yeah, that was something very, very good for us. He highlighted one of the things that stood out to him throughout the festival. This year we um, involved the water department. Everybody know about the famous um, water department um, barbecue on Friday afternoons. Well, we had their head chef, if, if you will, um, down to participate in that. And I mean, he did a good job with his mango barbecue sauce. So, you know, those are, those are things that we're definitely um, trying to continue to involve the local chefs and to have them do as much as possible with the food mango. The second Nevis Mango and Food Festival ran from July 8th to 10th, 2016. Get set and ready for university is the tagline for a seminar which will be hosted this Saturday, August 13th by the SKN Chevening Alumni Group. The three-hour seminar targets prospective students who wish to pursue a master's degree and would like to apply for the 2017 British Chevening Scholarship. The Chevening Alumni Group of St. Kitts and Nevis, um, we thought it was a good way to give back to the community because we were blessed to, um, to be offered a scholarship to do our masters in various um, um, spe specialties and uh, this is one way that we thought would be excellent to give back to, um, to, 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 to persons of the community. So we are hosting this Get Set and Ready for University seminar. The Chevening Scholarship is funded by the United Kingdom's Foreign and Commonwealth Office and provides recipients with an opportunity to study an all-expenses-paid master's in the United Kingdom for one year. Raoul Pemberton, Kimberly Evelyn and Curlin Merchant are members of the SKN Chevening Alumni Group. What we want persons to understand as Carlin said, it is somewhat tedious applying online, but you do have our assistance at hand. You just need to indicate that you're interested and we are willing to help you. Now for Saturday, for our Get Set and Ready for University seminar, we're just encouraging anyone who is interested in going to university to come on out. This is not just focused on persons who want to apply for Shivening Scholarship. We're also targeting persons who may be going to university to do a bachelor's or anything for the first time to come on out and hear what we have to say, get some information, and if there's anything else that you need help with, then we're here to assist you. But in terms of the area of studies though, one thing that Shivening Scholarship focuses on, and I think most other scholarship applications focus on, is you can't just choose an area and go and study the area. You have to explain to the, 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 the why, you're why yeah. you are pursuing that area and how pursuing that area will benefit your country. So there is a strong aspect of the scholarship which focuses on the benefit um, your studies in that area will, will have on your country and how you will contribute to improving that particular area on your return to your country. The highly competitive British Chevening Scholarship is aimed at developing global leaders. Here's a Brandy Williams. She's yeah. um, a past Chevening Scholar also. So 
Yes, and there are a few other persons on island who you may see and may know, both are Nevis and Unsink It's who are also Shivnin um, scholars. My dad is also a Shivnin alumni, Mr. Augustine Merchant, as well as we have Jihan Williams, Sonia, Body in St. Kitts, Wendy, Wendy Elliott on Nevis, mm -hmm. um, Ken Rod Roberts, Roberts, and a Von few Des others. Vondes, who is just, just returning. returning, he just completed mm -hmm. his studies. So there are a few of us on island, and most of us are usually approachable. So you can always approach us and ask a question and yeah. I know partic most of us in particular while we promote the Shivnin scholarship we usually also have information on other scholarships so um, at the seminar I think if we have information on any other scholarships we would also indicate that to you this is saturday's get set and ready for university seminar will run from 9 30 a.m to 12 30 p.m at the saint paul's anglican church hall the sessions will cover career guidance tips for university and scholarship application accessing loans including a presentation by the development bank of st kitts and nevis time and money management and how to make the best of your university experience division Chanel Simmons is the most recent recipient of the British Shepherding Scholarship. The Road to 2030, Eradicating Poverty and Achieving Sustainable Consumption and Production is the theme for this year's International Youth Day, which will be observed tomorrow, Friday, August 12th. Coordinator of Youth Development Zanella Claxon gave us these details about an activity which will be hosted by the Department of Youth and Sports to mark tomorrow's observance of International Youth Day. So as part of our celebrations this year, we will set up in the Memorial Square in Charlestown on August 12th, International Youth Day, and we'll set up a screen, a green screen, and we're asking and encouraging all of our young people to come on out to the Memorial Square, and we're going to do very short recordings, so come camera ready, and, you know, come ready to encourage other young people, not just here on Nevis, but throughout the Caribbean, throughout the, the world, perhaps. And we are going to highlight how they think they can be agents of change here on Nevis. And then we're going to have them complete the statement, I matter because. It's important because our young people need to know that they matter. And in the next few weeks, we're going to have some guests coming from overseas to do a campaign called You Matter. And the footage that we use during or that we gain during International Youth Day will also be used during that campaign. Claxton also outlined the purpose of the event. The reason why we want to continue to record and document these words from our young people and the words of encouragement is that we want other young people to, to feel motivated that they too can make a difference in the push for sustainability, for sustainable development, and that we are setting down all of the foundational tools and, and everything that we need for Nevis to continue to grow and to strive, and the ball is in the court of the young people. She is also encouraging young persons on Nevis to attend the event tomorrow and participate in the activity. If you are a young person or if you have a young person between the ages of 16 and 35, encourage them to come on out to the Memorial Square on August 12th and just finish the statements, I matter because, and tell us a bit about what they see for youth development in Nevis and what our young people need for Nevis to continue to grow from strength to strength. The event will begin tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. and conclude at 5 p.m. The purpose of International Youth Day is to draw attention to a given set of cultural and legal issues surrounding youth. Still to come, St. Kitts and Nevis Nationals present a check to Campbell Primary School in Dominica. The details after this break. Welcome to Nevis. It's easy to believe that all Caribbean islands are the same until you visit Nevis. Nevis is the Caribbean of a bygone era. You will enjoy a most intimate vacation on Nevis. You're only a stranger here once. We offer exclusive and barefoot luxury stays. With only 400 hotel rooms, our island may be exclusive. But the warm, genuine and friendly welcome is just everywhere. We look forward to meeting you. Visit nevisisland.com. Welcome back. 
Sankit and Nevis Nationals Association of Washington, D.C. commenced the cementing of a long-term relationship with Campbell Primary School in Dominica with its symbolic contribution of $4,000 U.S. dollars to assist with its rebuilding efforts after the damaging effects of Tropical Storm Erica. Ambassador Thelma Philip Brown of the Embassy of St. Kitts and Nevis joined Councillor Kemoy Clyburd Chow and other members of the association President Vincent Hart, as well as Assistant Secretary and past President Valdo Morris at the Embassy of the Commonwealth of Dominica in July for the presentation of the check to Ambassador Hubert Charles. Ambassador Charles remarked that the familial bonds between St. Kitts and Nevis and Dominica have been long-standing, and he welcomes the support of the association and its commitment to enhancing the lives of the children attending Campbell Primary School. Hart, an educator, expressed the importance of education and the effect the contribution will have in aiding with the school's advancement as it rebuilds. The St. Kitts and Nevis Nationals Association of Washington, D.C., Ambassador Philip Brown and Ambassador Charles also engaged in a healthy discussion of CARICOM cooperation and the empowerment of the diaspora in advancing our economies and people. The participation of the St. Kitts and Nevis national track and field team currently in Brazil for the Rio Olympics has been described as a source of pride for the Twin Island Federation by Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Sports, the Honorable Sean Richards. The seven-member team, which includes icon sprinter Kim Collins, is preparing to contest the athletics events that begin tomorrow, Friday, August 12th. Antoine Adams will compete in the men's 100, 200 and 4 by 100 meter races. Kim Collins and Bridget Lawrence in the men's 100 and 4 by 100 meter races, while the lone female Tamika Williams will race in the women's 200 meters. Jason Rogers, Lestrade Roland and Alistair Clark will participate in the men's 4 by 100 meters. Minister Richards, who appeared on the August 10th edition of the radio program Working For You, said that the competition will bring out the athletes best. Additionally, it gives them the opportunity to meet coaches and other athletes with whom they may be able to develop relationships and a network to look at different styles and techniques to make a determination as to how they themselves can improve their own athletic skills. He added that the government has invested about $500,000 in preparing athletes, including some of those that did not qualify for the Rio Games. This is in keeping with the mandate of the Ministry of Sports in particular and the government as a whole to promote the development of sports and local athletes. Meantime, although the athletes from St. Kitts and Nevis have not taken to the track as yet, they have already generated quite a buzz. Much of the attention has been focused on the continued success of the 40-year-old Kim Collins, who will be contesting his fourth Olympics. The outfits worn by the team at the opening ceremony of the Summer Games on August 5th also made a big impression. Essence magazine, which reportedly has a monthly readership of 8.5 million, rated the uniforms made by local designer Yaki Kima Daniel of Kiwi Dan Kuter as among the best of the more than 200 featured. That, of course, is publicity that I don't know we could ever pay for, Deputy Prime Minister Sean Richards has said. That's it for this evening's edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, thank you for viewing. I'm Donis Wilkinson Keynes. Good night. One of the few places that has an untouched beauty that has captivated the hearts of many. Nevis is everything you imagine.